our day today right there. Um, uh, again, temperatures into the mid 30s. There's patchy morning fog and then uh, <clears throat> we'll see a, a dry day today. 43 will be our high, but look at the winds. We're not going to be really dealing with winds at all today. So you'll just need that layer and your sunglasses because it's chilly outside. There's no doubt about it. Um, the moisture content, it's there. We're going to be relatively dry today, but we do have that next thing that's sitting off into the Pacific. That's going to be our Saturday night. Um, so Saturday night, really good chance, 100% uh, chance Sunday, we are going to get rain. Could start as snow changing over to rain early Sunday morning. Um, and then we're going to have a, a chance coming in on Monday, Tuesday, about a 20% chance. So while there is a chance, it looks to be relatively dry next week. Um, here, this is going to give us a good example. Uh, today, looking great. Tomorrow looks great as we get through Saturday. Now, Saturday evening, we start to see that colder air starting as snow, changing over to rain. And that's going to happen through Sunday with snow into the mountains. But see the pops? We just have scattered energy off into the Pacific that will be crossing over us. And that's going to present itself with, again, the potential for a few isolated showers. But that's going to be about it. So we look at our planning forecast and we are going to see uh, the potential for uh, some light snow Saturday night. Sunday, it's going to change over to rain 45. And then we're going to be in the upper 30s Monday, Tuesday with a slight chance of snow on Monday morning. And we're tracking that for you for the morning commute. All right, I'm Mark Peterson. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, the First Alert Weather app is free. It's available. It's in the App Store.